face that this world has forgotten. What is up guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on this week, we're going to actually look upon the Generation 3 Grass's Dog Types. Yes, they're both in the Generation 3. This typing has actually not been revisited, which is very, very unfortunate because it's a very cool typing, being, of course, Grass and Dark. Now, throughout the generation, Shiftry was deemed the superior in Generation 3 and 4. It wasn't until actually in Generation 5 and, of course, 6 that Cactus showed it what it was all about with a broader move pool and a bit more edges to its accessibility. So, to this generation, they actually are on par with one another in generation 7. So what we're going to go over is their stat, ability, and move pulls to see which one of these two really are better. And we're going to start off with, of course, Shift Reef first. Now, before we talk Shift Reef head on, I'm really going to talk about the typing itself. The Dark and Grass is, till this day, one of the most rare typing combinations in the game, being only accessible by two Pokemons. It is as rare as the Ground Flying combination, and that's not a good thing. This typing really has a lot to offer. While it isn't the best typing combination, it still isn't the worst either. Grass and Dark do not do anything for one another, so they pretty much inherit each other's weaknesses and resistances. So we resist Dark, Electric, Ghost, um, Ground, Water, and Grass, and Immunity to Psychic, which on paper it's fairly alright. There definitely are a lot of combination here that you can be walling out. But the weaknesses here are fairly severe, being weak to fairy, fighting, fire, ice, poison, flying, and very weak to bug. But yeah, as a whole, as stated, there are things here that definitely could be walled out. But at the same time, there are weaknesses one really has to adjust to with this combination in mind. There are a lot of priority that these combinations are weak to, so a lot of things has to be considered while using this. But at the same time, these two Pokemon both bring a lot of offensive momentum to a team, so it's not all about their typing in the first place either. When it comes to the stats of Shift 3, it is a mixed bag. It's fairly average with a lot of focus on its special and physical move pool. Um, defenses are quite low, but very high HP set of 90. Both attack and special attack are fairly alright, and of course 100 attack and 90 in special attack. Defenses are 60, and that's fairly low. It is the same level as Sharpedo, so it's definitely not the bulkiest guy around, though it does have HP to kind of whittle that around. So it's not completely useless bulk, but the HP is what's covering that up, not the defensive stance itself. And then when it comes to speed here, yeah, not the highest. 80 is definitely a lowered speed here, but at the same time, Shiftry has an ability that does kind of resolve that in Chlorophyll, making the Shiftry a very, very scary Sun Team Sweeper, and it does have the packing ability to pull that off. So 80 base speed is very high for a um, Weather Sweeper, but as a whole, kind of, you know, mixed. But then again, it works like a possible wall breaker, so it's not the end of the world. And of course, with early bird and pickpocket, it does have an option to pull something outside of that early bird. Of course, make sure that you can capitalize on rest and wake up with one turn instead of two. And of course, by some way, you get yourself uh, uh, asleep, which is fairly unlikely unless someone is using nature power since you're immune to spore and sleep powder, and of course hypnosis are a psychic type which are immune to due to your dark typing. So early bird, probably not the best ability, but pickpocket is one of those interesting ones, making sure that if you lose your items, such as using fake up to get the likes of normal gem, you will steal your opponent's typing. So there are niches with abilities going on, though Clearfield is the most desirable one. So with that said, let's talk about the move pool. Now, I don't cover Solar Beam in this list, so just gonna have to say it does get it. Uh, but outside of that, Shift Tree has a lot of really, really weird moves. It has a lot of um, supporting moves, a lot of variety in its offensive move pool, but also just overall can be very, very, very specific with priority in mind. So first and foremost, we have Whirlwind, which is of course a force switch, such as Roar, but with a higher priority. Uh, that said, it's not the defensive, most defensive Pokemon to pull that off, but it does get it. So it's always worth mentioning if you cannot predict the switch and you actually have stacked hazards, you will be able to actually pivot around with that in mind. We also have two setup in Nasty Plot Sword Stance. We also have Growth, which definitely should be stated here. It has three 
Supportive set on cards grow up being more usable towards the Sun team, but being able to be specific with Nasty Plot or Sword Stance is a very, very strong thing to have because it does mean that you can wall break whatever you necessarily desire. Now, when it comes to special move pool on um, Shift Tree, it actually has a broad variety. We have Hurricane, of course, we have Leaf Storm, Energy Balls, Shadow Balls, Dark Pulls, and uh, of course the likes of Ice, Wind, Giga Drain, and Extra Sensory. All these moves fairly viable, though definitely should be covered here as you know, like the Focus Blast and Hurricane really does suit themselves to be very, very good C crystal moves, and it does capitalize on this fairly alright. Um, another thing definitely be capitalizing on is that Focus Blast is most likely your primary uh, stab or at least filler moves in mind, mainly because you do want to hit Steel type more super effectively than you actually could even imagine. And of course, with the bulky normal types. Having Focus Blast and Nasty Plot in mind is a very, very strong combination indeed. On the physical side, it is pretty much as diverse if you're asking me. We have the likes of Brick Break, Rock Tomb, Air Lace, Rock Slide, Exis uh, Explosion, which is very good to get with Sword Stance, Fake Out, as mentioned before, Sucker Punch, which is your number one priority, uh, Leaf Blade, Knock Up, Low Kick, Seed Bomb, and actually Power Up Punch, Bounce, and Dig. Bounce and Dig definitely represents the C crystal usage yet again. Dig representing a 140 base powered ground move, which is always nice and definitely likes of course a fire type it could possibly check you. Same thing with Bounce, being able to capitalize on that against fighting type will always be a big edge. Now, usually this set harder, usually with Sword Stance, Knock Up, Seed Bomb, and uh, Sucker Punch. You could also go with Rock Slide or Quick Attack, which I've not mentioned here. All of these are fairly viable, but as I tried to say here, that Sword Stance and Sucker Punch is your bread and butter for Shift 3 because it just hurts so much in the physical set. It's very hard to tackle head on, and with a base 100 attack, yeah, it's supposed to be that. Another very good thing with Shift 3 is that it gets Defog, and Defog will always be one of the things that really can be capitalized on. Defog, of course, primarily making sure you get hazards out of the field, and actually, base 80. In speed tier, it's not too shabby for a defogger. It is able to outspeed most of them, of course, spin blockers and even hazard setters. So, base 80 and defog, yeah, it's quite right. It's not the best defogger, but overall, in a league concept, defog is always a perk to have. With a Pokemon this offensive, it might just be a very, very unpredictable edge to have. So what can we make out of you know all these moves together with these stats and of course abilities in mind? Well, Shift Tree is one of the superb wall breaker on the grass type side. It is maybe not the most speediest threat, but it is able to capitalize on two types of priority, three ways of setup, and become just one of those really really strong wall breakers. While it could be capitalized to being just a fast sweeper with Scarf, more often than not, you will be capitalized on Sword Stance or Nasty Plot together with a Sea Crystal or Life Orb, and it will work just about right. Um, the defensive set on Shift 3 is not the most diverse. I would definitely strongly um, unrecommend it, but overall, Shift 3 bit speedier for a wall breaker and a very, very strong one at that, and a very unpredictable Pokemon overall, making a very, very strong Pokemon indeed. It is whether or not Cacturn really could keep up in the first place here. And what I mean by that is that Cacturn is not as speedy as Shiftry. We have fifth found base speed here, which definitely are lower. We have the same defensive stats as Shiftry being out of split 60 and a lower HP of 70 instead of 90 on Shiftry. But with that said, the attack stats are something else here, aren't they? 115 on both special attack and attack. And as I said before about the defensive typing itself, while it's weak to a lot of things, it also wall out a lot of things. There are a lot of resistance that we keep in mind here. So with that said, being forced to switch out against stuff like that to soak a hit, that's not an easy task. And this is what Cactron just represents. It punishes any switching that could be done, and it does that fairly all right. Now, the abilities here are both a mixed bag here. They're not as diverse, I would say, as Shift Trees. While Shift Trees' ability are not as impressive either. Sand Veil, yeah, you're really, if never, going to use that ever. But Water Absorb, yeah, some type of recovery. That's that's fairly decent, actually. That's definitely quite all right. Water Absorb is the only ability you will go for, which will mean that any kind of Skull Spammers are actually walled out here, which is good. That means that you're not and not as likely to be burned, and that's always going to be an edge in this type of environment. 
But what really makes Cacturn is his move pool. It took some time for Cacturn to be relevant and it has a lot to do with his move pool. It never really exploded to generation 5 and it only kept growing from there. We have for course here Spiky Shield which is always nice to get with Destiny Bond. While he's not as speedy here, what Destiny Bond allow, a slow Destiny Bond most likely mean that you can sting the next turn. Or of course if you have speed, you can always go for the Sucker Punches as we mentioned before. We have Lead Shield also, Spiky Shield, Lead Seed. That's nasty. That's very, very nasty. That is two times for seal damage. That's always cool. Spikes. Spikes always a good thing here. While Shiftry had a defogging, Cacturn is allowing itself to set up spikes, and that's always going to be a perk. Sucker Punch, as we mentioned, that's to bread and butter at 115 over 100 attack. Yeah, it's just gonna sting that much more. Pink Missile, while it doesn't sound like the most accessible move, it is a move that can be capitalized on and definitely for multi-hit. Energy Ball, clearly a filler move to get it with Focus Blast. Grass Whistle, um, putting your enemy to sleep, but not only that, C, Grass Whistle will allow you to get a plus one speed, and that is always helpful for a Pokemon that is, of course, faster than yourself, because you will be faster than them. <laughs> We also have Low Kick. Low Kick is, while not the most accessible move, Shifter does have it too. If you go against Pokemon that you know are going to be heavier than yourself, Low Kick could be one of those moves that really sting. Usually heavier Pokemon are usually slower, making you able to actually hit first, and of course with heavy fighting damage in mind. We also have two types of setup in Sword Stance and Nasty Plot here too. While Cacturn does get growth also, it should be stated that you will rarely use Sun with Cacturn, if ever, and it's not like its ability benefits from it, making it very, very less uh, well reliable to actually cover something with Sun in mind. So that says Sword Stance or Nasty Plot is going to be your primary moves in mind. We also have Dark Pulse Seed Bomb, which are very, very good moves indeed, to like Poison Jab. We also have Block. Block is one of those moves that are very, very, very niche, lock your opponent in with yourself, which is always going to be a risk. But with like a spiky shield and of course destiny bond and disable, these could be very very good to capitalize on switcheroo if you want to actually give your opponent an item. One thing could be switcheroo with flame orb, but of course another one is switcheroo scarf. Uh, theater dance of course one hundred guaranteed confusion, which you want to capitalize on actually being annoying. Dynamic mon punch primarily I would say for C moves you know, with focus punch of course. Uh, drain punch another ways of recovery. Always nice to get it with the lights of Gatorade to capitalize on. If you want to do something like that, you will be able to pull that off with Life Orb. Thunder Punch, very decent filler moves for flying types. Uh, Bullet Seed, if you want to just get those resilient damage with the Pin Missile. It is a bit of a 50 50, but it does work well, right? Gatorade, Self Explanator, of course, Drain Punch, but with Stab, so that's always nice. Superpower. Probably your best fighting move in mind if you don't want to go for low kick, nor of course the C focus punch. Fell Stinger, if you pull that off, that's going to be great. Getting your yourself a plus three. So that's always going to be something that we were capitalizing on. Uh, Belch. It's not the best move because it forces yourself to actually consider, of course, that you have to muse your berry to be able to capitalize on this move. But it does make for a very strong 200 base powered C move. And uh, 200 power C move is always great and primarily against the fairy types that could switch in upon you. And since most fairy types aren't necessarily that speedy, it could be very well that you outspeed them anyway because you usually will go max either speed here or both attacks. And uh, being able to go over C belch, yeah, that's gonna knock something out. And then your because it is just that cool. Endure is definitely worth using with the likes of Weakness Policy or, of course, Cut Up Destiny Bond, which is not available for this generation, but that's a move and a combination I really like to use when I try to use Cacturn myself. So, all in all, I would definitely say that Cacturn is a very interesting Pokemon because it has a lot of niches in bond with it. While I would say that this is the better Swords than Sucker Punch Pokemon between Shiftry and Cacturn, uh, it does offensively bring a lot more to the table and it does have the moves to actually hit hard every time and of course sucker punch is always going to be that move but it does lack the speed making shift tree uh, more desirable if you have a speedier variant but with that said spiky shield and of course disable nasty combo nasty combo indeed even with of course like a block switcheroo but disable yeah that's really cool leech seed 
and Spiker Shield, same combination, also very, very, very menacing. And Destiny Bond, what a filler move to capitalize on if you do, are predicting the Sucker Punch, play the mental game and actually go for Destiny Bond instead, and then afterwards retaliate with Seed Bomb instead, predicting, of course, anything else but, of course, Sucker Punch come in need because that will mean you go slower and can have the possibility of being knocked out. So, we already established that between these two. Cacturn is the more offensive one, it does bring more punishment to the table, it will force the switches more often, making this even worse to be dealing with. So that said though, if they're both being judged under Sucker Punch capabilities, Cacturn clearly is the winner here. But the dialogue is never that simple, and it, it's not supposed to. While I would say that Cacturn has a lot of niches in the table, the Spiker Shield Disable combination with Leash Life, yeah, that's an annoying aspect of dealing with. Cacturn is probably one of the worst Pokemon to deal with with that in mind, because it is able to actually quit substitute, focus punch, stuff like that. It just keeps on giving. That said, when we talk about abilities, things start to get a bit more blurry. War Absorb, while it is a good ability, that's really all it gets to the table. Shiftry, Chlorophyll, yeah. Shiftry is also speedier. While it doesn't hit as hard as Aspect to not get hit in the first place, and I always will agree that when you have a combination of typings that could be easily knocked out due to your less bulk, you need to be speed enough to avoid being hit in the first place. While they're both are weak to priority and will fall therefore, one really has to take the aspect in mind that Shiftry, at least in the first place, are able to be sweet enough to not get hit and, of course, KO'd in the first place. And with Chlorophyll and Defog and whatnot, Shiftry simply has another dimension of Smoopal outside of the conventional Sucker Punch Swords. And I said, Shiftry can do a lot, lot more, making it, in my opinion, the stronger between these two. For me, the C aspect about Shiftry to be able to capitalize on Hurricane, Focus Blast, and, of course, Sword Stance also, uh, it just has a lot of other varieties around it and of course as mentioned before defog while cacturn has spikes and i definitely believe it's is a nice thing to have when you are slow as cacturn you're not gonna have spike as a reliable hazard against your team you're much much better off with shift tree making rid of hazards and it's not weak to hazards either making it at least decent enough defogger while cacturn making a very very bad spiker so all in all i'll say that they do a similar job but Shiftry has more variety, making it overall, in my opinion, the stronger between them two. That said, though, I prefer Cacturn. I think Cacturn is the cooler Pokemon design-wise, and it hits really hard and very, very tough to be dealing with. But I need to be honest here. And a league, access, league aspect, is, which all is going to matter, Shiftry simpler are that much better than Cacturn, and I really can't avoid that in this style at all. So yeah, with that said guys, what do you guys think? Which Pokemon do you guys prefer? I really, I was very happy to cover these two because they are really cool Pokemon and uh, quite frankly, I think they should be used more often. They're definitely Cacturn, the Cacturn in PU, Mwah, great Pokemon. But overall, yeah, they have issues and I definitely would love to see this typing combination revisited in a speedier variant and probably with, with more things than just priority. Uh, I definitely would have believed that would have worked more to their favor and definitely the, the generations that has come four generations without this type of combination revisited. Yeah, something is a mister. Make it happen, Game Freak. So yeah, thank you for watching as always and of course join us next week where we're going to look upon these two.